Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing. Yeah, perfect segue. Speaking of cars that was draining, this fucking car was a drain because I don't know what it is, but these cars need to stop ending at 1 32 o'clock in the morning like i'm sorry and it what started at normal about? it didn't start late it started... unacceptable this was unacceptable yeah i it started late it ended late for oh, up, nigga. like <laughs> no i'm yeah. saying no i'm just saying they started i mean it was kind of late but i mean shit, it's about 10, you know? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, not for you not, not for you because you ended at like, probably like 11 ish for you there yeah. No, but for us, it was just like, you know, I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, for like, us and, and, and prolific and everyone else on the other side of the pond, like, like that was it for us, man. Yeah, I was just like, Jesus Christ. Like, it, 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 and the funny thing is, too, is like, did he even drag out any segments? It was just like, it was just long. I was just like, wow. Uh, it was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yo, uh, Pat, I, I, I want to say one thing real quick. That's two weekends in a row where Ramirez hasn't impressed me in a main event. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. I'm Robert. just saying. <laughs> I mean, I will say this though. I mean, Robert, I mean, Dog Bay, God bless him. He tried to make a fight. Dog Bay actually was impressive though. Like he didn't really like the fight. Did like and it, it's it's crazy. Both Ramirez is didn't get it going until the last couple rounds <laughs> where they made the fight decisive. But mm -hmm. up until then, the was Vegas was being fight. outworked and really not looking their best. No, dog ball, you know, he, he, he lived up to the first and delivered his name. He was dog in there. Yeah. He, he was yeah. he was doing his thing. I mean, I thought one of those, I mean, he got hurt like what, early like second, third round. He got hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, 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 he get, every he single, get every hurt single time Ramirez touched him with the left hand, he was, you know, he got hurt. But, yeah, but he, he got hurt, but he still fought. He like, kept going, yeah. He yeah, he going. never like, which is surprisingly because, like, honestly, I almost feel like if he would have had this effort in the other three previous fights, he would have maybe won those cleaner. I think he was a little too small. He was too small for 126 to operate to, to be a, a top guy. You know, he got hard. He got skill. He just kind of, I don't know. He's a little. I mean, he's a little small for featherweight. I don't know. This day, know, but he's hanging and competing. With he's hanging and competing. Like, he, he can't even compete, but he ain't. You know. You know, he's like a Sean Porter type nigga. I don't, I don't know. Okay, well, Porter like, let me ask you this then: if somebody, <laughs> if they're undersized or allegedly undersized, and they're competing and making dudes go life and death with them, and they're only like losing by like maybe a couple rounds, if that, whatnot, is it maybe a skill or a technical thing, deficiency, something that they could change, or it's more, well, fuck that, you just too small? Because I feel like if you're Competing and showing that you're on the level, like I can't say a JoJo Diaz is too small for lightweight when he's up there going, you know, giving Devin Haney a great, a, a good fight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. True. It just, you know, if 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 every fight he was looking like he did against Zapata, then yeah, I'd be like, yeah, he can't get shit done. He's too small. <laughs> but if you making motherfuckers go to the brink, then. Eh. Yeah, but the, I mean, the one thing I didn't I didn't agree with though were the scores. The scores were far too wide for. <laughs> yes, uh, fuck them scores. And bro. he didn't agree because he he went on phone. He got talking about dictatorship. <laughs> he, he got yeah yeah. He he got got I mean I, I mean I could see I mean I could see maybe uh, a one I mean a one fifteen one thirteen ish or even a one sixteen one twelve. But they were talking about some one nineteen one oh eight. I was like, nah, there was. <laughs> yeah, don't that play was... one like four or five rounds. Like, what are they talking about? Yeah, yeah like in the, the in the close. There's a card that gave him like one or two rounds, right? Yeah, and then there's a card that gave him three, three rounds. I'm like, nah, that's not like that's not yeah. how it goes. At most eight four, but even then, that's kind of like a, a little wide. Yeah. Eight yeah. eight four was fine, I guess. Yeah, right? because he had the knockdown, but still, like, I, think I thought Dog Bay won at least four or five rounds. Like R R R Ramirez clearly won, but let's not act like it was a walk in the park. That's all I'm saying. They made it seem like. He was he like he was them. He them. like he washed them. He didn't wash. Yeah, that's was far from a wash. Like mm -hmm. it was at points where he wasn't doing shit. He was getting dogged against the ropes. Yeah, no, he, yeah, he, yeah, because some like, body shots. Like the fuck. Yeah, Ramirez, Ramirez clearly was getting fucked because I know because usually Ramirez, like I remember, like in the mid rounds, like he he had a look on his face and was like, God damn it, like what the fuck do I need to do? Because he 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 was kind of frustrated, like he didn't know what to do with Dogway at that point. Um, yeah. 
I mean, eventually, he, I mean, he did warm up into the fight, and he did actually, I mean, he scored the knockdown in the last round or whatever, but, yeah, it was one of those fights where Ramirez would actually have been looking good in his last couple of fights, you know, I mean, honestly... It, it, you were brought down to earth by a real world-class former champion-level fighter. That's what happened. Right. We had to put some. We wanted to put some respect on Dog Bay's name and um, the job Barry Hunter's been doing with him. So. Yeah, because because I think most of us thought um, he was gonna get KO'd. Uh, KO, I, I thought he was like shit. I ain't, I ain't gonna compl- You know, I ain't gonna I lie. Think, I mean, it wasn't a bad performance for Breezy. I think he's still in the mix of the best. I don't think he's a clear cut best featherweight. I think you know, hell no. Figgy no. lost no problem. He, you know, he top five. He's top five though. He's top. He's a champion in the division. You know, he's top five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ramirez is going to need to do a little bit more work in order for me to think that he's, he's going to be a top featherweight. But, I mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, that's what Bob wanted. Bob wanted to get the belt on him. So, I mean, hey, he's champion. You know, but he has, you know, I think he still has a little bit more to go. I mean, I mean, I mean he's had, like, he hasn't had that many fights yet. I mean, I mean, that's, that's one thing. I mean, he has like, he's 13 I, I, I fights. I want to see him unify against the winner of uh, Conlon Lopez, the, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's that's another one. Bob's trying to get a belt on <laughs> for Michael Conlon. Mm. He's trying, he's he's trying his hardest to get a belt on that guy. <laughs> trying to get a belt to the UK somehow at featherweight somehow some way. They're trying to get one of the twenty six. But yeah, no. But it, it, it but it was one of those fights. I mean, it was a it was a cool fight. But then that fight just taking place at like after like twelve thirty or something like that. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. They got they got yeah, top ranking. I mean, top rank PBC. They all need to stop doing that shit. Like they need to. Like nah, like it, it shouldn't. Yeah, you treat I mean, like boxing like a hoe. Like you, you with your other sport all day at the mall, holding hands and blowing kisses. But when they come to boxing, you're like, I right, slide through at one a.m. <laughs> I, I got the side door open, ma. You could come through. <laughs> like nah, I ain't gonna Uber nothing. I got some steakums in there, some pizza rolls. What the fuck. You're boxing. Yeah, it, like I say, it didn't help too. Where a lot, like a lot of the fights, I mean, especially on the main card, went the distance. I mean, the jo- I mean, to, to the credit, like the the other fight, the Joe Gonzalez Viva fight was a slugfest. It was entertaining for what it was, and fucking Jahi Taka, Jahi Tucker, you know, got into a slugfest too. But I was like, God damn it! Like, so one of you guys got to score like a knockdown or a knockout at some point. <laughs> Motherfuckers trying to go to bed and then boom, what happened? That was a good fight. Which one, pilot? Jahai. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it was a good fight, but it was just like, but you've had before that. You had, I mean, you know, we had, you know, our friend Jeremiah Milton. He went the distance, which I wasn't, su- I was surprised about against this guy. About how was it, how was that fight? How how did Milton look, yo? If you don't mind me asking. Milton, let's just say Milton put it. Let's just say uh, Maldonado came in there to survive. Let's just say that, and Milton unfortunately couldn't get him up out of there. He was looking. Uh, Milton, was a friend of the show, but he's looking like you know he might be a next Stephen Shaw. I don't know. I mean, he won. He didn't lose rounds. Like he, he didn't lose rounds, but it, it wasn't. The, you know, it was. Yeah, it was just more. It was, it was more like the fact like every time Milton landed a big shot, Maldonado like was holding on to him. Like it was. Just, ah, like, some more Joshua bullshit. Yeah. Well, Caleb Plant bullshit. Yeah, like there was. I mean, the ref probably docked them for, for the holding in like the final round. I was just like, yo, this is horrible. Like, you know, like I, I was like, this should have been like more warnings because you. And, and I think he got deducted for he, for headbutting Milton too. It was. It was God that damn, of, bitch. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he had he had a rough opponent that didn't really want to fight. It was a rough night. I, I don't want to say it was boring, but. It wasn't. Yeah, good. it was a rough night. It was a rough night. <laughs> it was a very rough. Okay, night. he might. That was one of those win now, look good later type yeah, of fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. He, I guess he needed that in his development of his career. So he'll, uh, he'll be he'll be back on top rank card. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I, uh, yeah. And gonna hold him to that. Well, shout yeah, out I'll, to you, man. Yeah, like yeah, dude needed that. Dude needed. Um, I, I wanted him kill because my dad was just finding some bullshit. It was just like. Get this, get this, get this guy the fuck him out of here, though. But yeah, no, unfortunately, the knockout was not. It, it, knockout didn't come. Now Abdullah Mason got the knockout of the night. I mean, he he froze dude with the check hook, and you know, and and referees that stopped that shit immediately. That he had the knockout of the night. That was a, that was that was some good shit from the young from the young man. Uh, but yeah, like I said, top break. You know, you I, like, I understand that you have a lot of talent. And it's good that you keep your young talent busy, but you can spread them cats out on some other cards too. 
<laughs> like seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah I like, mean, th this was like their B plus team because you know this coming card they have their a, their A team. You know. Well, this was it. They, they had they had um, Fernando Vargas kid. They had Dante Benjamin. They had Polanco. They had Mason. They had Milton. They had Johnson. Johnny Tucker. Like that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot of their. Yeah, when they gonna start putting Milton on the main card, yo? Yeah, yeah. Milton needs to be on some main cards, like. Yeah, he didn't like y'all. Y'all like yo. He's he's ready. Like y'all had way lower level motherfuckers ahead of him on the main card. Like yeah, it, it, like, yeah. Wow. It's just like yeah. And then like I said, shorten up your cards. Like I mean, I could see like you know maybe put like three over there, but yeah, a long string of them and they are bleeding into the main card time. Like y'all, y'all gotta stop that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Did, did Vargas? Did, did Vargas get a KO? I forgot. Yeah, he got a KO. Really he, 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 he sure that, he, that kid he, Benjamin got some power. Uh, he be knocking dudes. <laughs> yeah, no, Vargas bodied that bodied his opponent. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but yeah, the top break out. You yeah, no, no more cards, and they got one thirty in the fucking morning on the East Coast. Like no, like it, it, it's like geez, like I mean, I like boxing, but not not strong that that state of boxing. You know, unless you guys have some, unless it's like title fights or some shit like that. You know, but um. But yeah, no Ramirez though. Yeah, he's the new champion. Dog Bay. I mean, he put he put up a good effort though. But you know, we'll have to see where he's actually go. Because like I said, like Elby said, it's just like you know, it's not. I don't think he's too small. I think it's just more or less because he's just, he just have to fight. You know, I mean, eventually some somebody he will beat somebody at that division. Like really beat somebody. So yeah, because if he wasn't if he wasn't if, if he wasn't capable enough, he would have been knocked out. Right. Yeah. I mean, people, I don't know, people heard him. People hit him. They will box him a little bit. I'll fight him sometimes, but they haven't clearly beat his ass and knocked him, destroyed him since the Navarrete. Right. Yeah. I mean, look at Joe Gonzalez. Joe Gonzalez beat the shit out of somebody on this card, but you know he he had a hard time with dog base. So I mean, he can clearly compete at that at that at that weight. It's just you know yeah, what, exactly. But yes, sometimes it's just styles just make fucking fights. <laughs> it's. You know, but Ramirez though didn't look, didn't look all that good. But like I said, you know, he's had 13 fights, so that was a fight against a former world champion, and you know, he eat by him, even though the judges say otherwise. You know, so. Uh, but yeah, though, yeah, that was a long fucking card, though. Long card. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, and, I, and I'm not the and I'm not, and I'm, not the, I'm not the type to say that because, like I said, I mean, Clint Benavides was four fights, though. I mean, they, I mean, that wasn't a long card, but it went past 130. <laughs> it went to 132, so yeah. But that was a better card overall. Like it wasn't dragged on. It felt yeah. Like, no, it, it, it wasn't. It was just one of those yeah, cards. The where top it was just like, card was a, a chore to get through at times. I'm which like, one? What was that, P? I said the uh, the top rank card was a chore to get through at yeah. times. I'm not. And it's just that it. whole day was a chore to get through. The Joshua card and the top rank card. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's yeah. why I, I don't be a fan of these stack up the day type shit. Cause not every time they don't pull it off every time. Yeah, well, we're, we're about to have that that issue this weekend. So yeah, no, oh, yeah, this I'll weekend. probably end up watching one of these motherfuckers. I think the Fedora card and that's it. Yeah, and, and I know, like I know the guys in the chat, I know Befanio and Chris, you know Chris Brand, they've been going back and forth about what card we're looking forward to uh, this coming weekend. I mean, this first before we get to that, like this is another thing. Boxing gets in this way too much when you stack up all these cards, like PBC, Top Rank, Matchroom. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, like you, this should not be a time where you have all these cards together happening at the same fucking time. It's like, impossible to speak to watch three fucking cards at once, literally. And, I, and on top of that, all three cards are going against the fucking UFC card. So yeah. that's, that's so that so it's like. You guys like see see this one like, you, like there's a Friday and there's a Sunday. Football is not happening on Sunday. Put a fucking card on either one of those days and the shit would be cool. We will watch that on one of those days. Right, these niggas crazy. They're trying to have the Grammys, the Oscars, and the BET awards on the same night. Like niggas, <laughs> Yo, that's a perfect y'all y'all look y'all all losing viewers. Like what the fuck? Yeah, it's like in in fact in the worst thing too is like yeah, all three cards are pretty good cards on paper, but it's like, why you're making people go, okay, you know, the PBC card, you know, we'll watch PBC or we'll watch or we'll watch the top of the card. It's like you shouldn't have to divide your viewers like yeah. that. Like, 
They treat this shit like a festival. They're like, all right, you guys, y'all go see Beyonce, nigga. We finna go see Drake. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Like, everybody, we try to see everybody. Fuck. Right, exactly. Like, all these boxers deserve to have their own shine, but it's just like, it's just counterproductive to the sport to see all these fights happening at the same fucking time. You know, and, and I don't like, and I don't like going, like, I don't like flipping between three cards at once because, like, even that, I mean, even that gets tired because like, one card has then to Then don't, nigga. Then, then don't. I, I watch don't one do. card like us normal people. I mean, I, I mean, that's probably gonna happen because you know, because this weekend I'm gonna, I'm gonna be at my parents' house. You know, my dad's gonna be like, yo, like, you know, he's gonna ask me what fights are on. You know, I'm probably gonna, st- I'm probably gonna steer him towards the Showtime card because that's the one that's <laughs> easily accessible. I mean, even though I can do the ESPN and the DAZN ones, but I don't feel like setting that shit up at the house. So I'm like, yeah, okay, we're gonna watch the Showtime one. But it's just annoying too because it's just like one of these cards could have been on a Friday, one of these cards could have been on a Sunday. And we could have just had three days of boxing. And I would have complained. Yes, yes. Uh, to answer your question, Beth, I did watch WrestleMania. So I, yeah, I we, we, we watched it. We watched it. Good ending. Good ending. Any other answer? Any God question? That's just crazy. What? <laughs> no, the proper word is scripted. It's scripted. I remember we were wrestling the same when I found out that shit was fake. You know, it's- it's predetermined. Like no, it's it's scripted. It's scripted. when I think it's, when it's I scripted. Seen, it's, it's scripted predetermined is a better word. Yeah, but when I found out Shawn Michaels was slapping his leg and he wasn't really kicking niggas, I got flipped, nigga. I, <laughs> I thought he was really kicking the shit out of niggas. I was actually kicking niggas trying to mock night, him. Night, this nigga night, one was, night one was better, Beth. This nigga was just slapping his leg. You think he kicking the shit out of him? But that used to always but say, it looks real. But it but looks say, real. fake. Wrestling's fake. And then one time, I was like, no, it's not fake. Then I saw the I saw one of the moves. I think it was like Conan doing a fake pedigree. You know, his finisher. And dude's mat didn't even touch the fuck. His face and touch the mat. And, and I was like, damn. Every man, time I fake. every time I did it to my cousin, his face touched the floor. I'm telling you <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Let's play we're, not, we're, not, we're not we're not about to turn this into a wrestling. Yeah, yeah, nah, we can do this right. later. We can talk about this later. But let's 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 get through the box. I mean, yeah, hey, b- blame the chat, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga, you brought it up, nigga. No, I I only I, I only answered Beth's question. I didn't no, fuck that. all that, nigga. You I mentioned just, it. Uh, and, and it's, and y'all still ain't answer any god question. So it's like, what's what's Henny you just answer one nigga question and not the other. Oh. Um. Oh, the parent of the UFC buying WWE. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think about that, honestly. Um, that shit is trash. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think that's a good thing and also a bad thing. But we'll, we'll see. How? It's a it's a bad thing because <laughs> they're gonna cut the budget and yeah, it's gonna be like UFC. So and in many bad ways, yeah. <laughs> in many bad in, in all the bad ways. Oh, so wrestle so a WWE budget will get cut. Yes. Yeah, because it's gonna be oh, under wow. the same umbrella company. It's gonna be under the same, you know, owner. I guess you could say. Yes. Yeah, and, they're keep, to and, and they're gonna keep Vince McMahon at the top, and he's gonna run the product into the ground. So yeah, yeah. he's old. Uh, he's old. He's and, a legend. And, and they're gonna bring back pay per views when we don't need pay per views for for <laughs> wrestling. Like I'm not paying fifty dollars for wrestling pay per views. Nah, because I, 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 I don't I, I don't pay for boxing either. What are we talking? I, mean, I got to pay eighty dollars. You don't try to pay forty nine ninety nine for Survivor Series, nigga. Nope. No, nope. yeah, I'm, I'm streaming. I, I can watch that shit for free. But I'm saying I, I got Peacock because Super Bowl, you know, Super Bowl the Rams Super Bowl. But I kept it because you know Bel Air and. Oh no, you needed the Super Bowl. Bowl. You need the Peacock. The ones the Super. I don't Bowl. have the cable, you know. So I was like, damn, I need to watch. Is my Rams playing? I was like, shit, it's five bucks. I'll, I'll pay for it. Why not? You know. But then they had wrestling on there, and it has the, you know the Bel Air. Our Bel Air show was kind of trash. Anyway, let's get back to boxing. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, second season has been kind of underwhelming. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I concur. Yeah, no, but I, I still watch it though because you no, know, yeah, yeah, a, no. it's a positive black. Yeah, Hillary story. hasn't yeah, been yeah, looking yeah. under woman. There's no yeah. drugs. I mean, a little bit of drug usage, but it's not like selling drugs and killing people. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need more hands getting thrown. Yo, yo, so facts. Though, absolutely. More, more big niggas getting getting beat up at bowling alleys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but they made him light skin, so I mean, I guess it was a dig at both of them. <laughs> made him light. They made light light skin too. <laughs> like, yeah, we'll make him six four, but light skin. <laughs> and run his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Carlton beat his ass and shit. <laughs> I know Carlton is Carl, Carlton's watching you, nigga. Yeah, there's a problem, nigga. 
Fucking Anthony Joshua ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, back to the card. I'm sorry, King P. Yeah, let's no, run it's through all this good. Shit. It's all good. Right.